Jailed for burglary and faced with deportation back to his native Zimbabwe, 22-year-old Richard fought and won his legal battle to stay here. Key European legislation on the right to a family life helped convince judges to overturn his deportation order. Everyone deserves a chance, whether foreign national criminals or, or what, we all deserve a chance. Similar human rights rules allowed the radical cleric Abu Qatada to thwart repeated deportation attempts over many years. The new immigration bill would see foreign offenders deported first. Any appeals could only be made when they're back in their home country. Richard believes this approach is draconian. When people get these automatic deportations and so forth, they don't know what to do. A lot of them start or even trying to end their own lives and it impacts on their mental health. It just breaks up families and it's, it, it's just not right at all. The new legislation is also aimed at addressing concerns over the way in which access to public services like the NHS has been abused. Those on short stay or student visas will be required to pay a surcharge before entering the UK. GPs like those in this practice in North London will have to check new patients to ensure they're entitled to treatment. Although we can see them as an emergency under the new proposals, it does mean that there's an awful lot more bureaucracy involved. So we've got to spend an awful lot more time checking on people uh, at the time when they are at their most vulnerable. Private landlords will be required to check the immigration status of any new tenant. The Liberal Democrats have serious reservations about this policy, so the Coalition have agreed to pilot the scheme. Obviously landlords cannot replace the border agency and they shouldn't be asked to do their job. Existing referencing will pick up immigration issues anyway, but if the government wants to put something in place beyond that, then the important thing is it's simple, straightforward and easy for landlords to use. The government believes these new measures will go some way to addressing the concerns many have over immigration. However, it won't affect migrants from inside the European Union, which is now the biggest single source of new arrivals to the UK. Mark White, Sky News.